Factsverse presents 10 Scary Paranormal Games You Should Never Play Maybe you're looking for a scary game to play for Halloween, or maybe you're just in the mood for some nice, frightening fun. These games, though, might truly go beyond just having fun and into the paranormal territory. These 10 games will have you screaming and checking under your bed before you go to sleep. They will keep you awake at night, wondering if the game really ended. Number 10. Bloody Mary in order to play Bloody Mary, you need a mirror, candles, and a lightless room. This game is typically played in bathrooms because they are dark and have a mirror, though it can also be played in closets or any room with a mirror and candles. There should be no more than two players. The rules of Bloody Mary are simple. Stare at the mirror with the candles lit, looking into your own eyes, continuing to chant Bloody Mary into the mirror for as long as it takes in order to summon her. With time, she may present herself beside you or behind you. You can leave the room at any time, but will Bloody Mary leave with you? Number 9. Sujiura The Fortune Game Sujiura is a fortune-telling game that originates in Japan. In order to play this divination game, you need a comb, something to casually cover your face with, and an intersection between two roads. You play the game by taking your comb and face covering to the intersection, brushing your finger along the teeth of the comb three times, chanting, Sujiura, Sujiura, grant me a true response. Wait for a stranger to pass at the intersection and cover your face. Ask the first passing stranger to give you your fortune. If they do not respond, continue to wait for the next stranger. Be careful who approaches you, though. It may indeed be a restless spirit. Number 8. Three Kings Three Kings is a game meant to access a different dimension. In order to play, you need three chairs, two mirrors, candles, and a dark room with no visible light. Position the chairs in a triangle, with the mirrors sitting on two of the chairs, such that from your chair you can barely see your own reflections out of the corner of your eyes. At 3.33 a.m., light the candle and sit in the empty chair. Do not look directly at the other two mirrors or the candle. If you have set the game up properly, you will be able to have a conversation with yourself in other dimensions. Number 7. Charlie 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 is another fortune-telling game. In order to play, draw a cross and then write yes in the top left and bottom right corners of the cross, and then write no in the top right and bottom left corners of the cross. Place two pencils with the left-right pencil on the bottom and the up-down pencil on top. Chant Charlie Charlie Can We Play twice out loud. The pencil will move to select either yes or no. If the answer is no, immediately stop playing the game. If the answer is yes, then you may proceed to ask Charlie more questions. Number 6. Ouija Board The Ouija Board is a classic and the only game on this list that you can buy at your local store. Ouija boards have a long, contentious history about their purpose and origin, but many have had terrifying paranormal experiences directly connected to their use of the Ouija board. When using the Ouija board, there should be at least two people using it. The rules of the Ouija board are simple. Each player has both of their hands, or one of their hands if there are a lot of players, on the planchette included in a game set. Each player asks the Ouija board a question, and the planchette will move to spell out the answer. To this end, a person may need to write down what the board is spelling in the case of a long answer. Do not ask the board for the name of the entity you are speaking with or how you will die. Answers to these questions may cause a decrease in quality of life or worse. Number 5. Hide and Seek in the Dark while there's not necessarily any specific ritual that creates a paranormal experience in this game, it's still a scary experience and can be made to be even more scary when played in the woods, an old abandoned building, or after having summoned something ancient and evil into the house earlier. 
Hide and seek in the dark is best played in a large, relatively clean building or area so that players have plenty of room to move and hide but don't have to worry about being tripped by debris and hurting themselves. The last thing you want to hear is your friend's voice screaming for help from the darkness. Number 4. The Corner Game the corner game must be played by four people in an empty building with no lights, pets, or people besides the players present in the building, and the game itself should be played in a clean, empty room within that building. To play, the four players enter the room, each speaking their own name aloud three times. One of the players is designated the speaker, and they are the only ones allowed to speak from then on. Each of the players pick one of the corners of the room, staring at the wall with their backs to the center of the room. The speaker will count to three, and after each countdown, the players must move clockwise to the next corner of the room, keep their backs to the center of the room while facing the wall. If one of the players disappears, the speaker will tell the other players to enact the emergency procedure. Each player must speak their name backwards three times, and the player closest to the light switch turns on the lights of the room. The disappearing player should return and beware of spirits returning as well. Number 3. The Closet Game the closet game can be played by yourself, but it's best played with friends in case the worst possible thing happens. To play the closet game, you need a closet, though any small, dark room or container may work, and matches. If playing with multiple people, each person takes turns entering the closet. The person in the closet holds a single, unlit match and says, show me the light or leave me in darkness. The person must then immediately light the candle. If they're unable to light the candle, their friends can open the closet door with the light on to save them, or they may be dragged to hell. Number 2. The Elevator Game To play this game, you need to find a public building that is at least 10 floors tall with an elevator. The elevator game should be played with at least two people, but can be played with more. Enter the elevator on the first floor, but do not play the game if another person outside of your group enters with you, and immediately end the game if at any point another person enters with you until the right time. Press the fourth floor button. When the elevator reaches the fourth floor, choose the second floor. When you reach the second floor, press the button for the sixth floor. When you reach the sixth, return to the second floor. Press the button for the tenth floor, and then press the button for the fifth floor. If a woman enters the elevator on the fifth floor, do not look at her. Press the button for the first floor. The elevator will either ascend or descend. If the elevator returns to the first floor, leave and do not look back. If the elevator goes to the tenth floor, you may exit the elevator, but do not look at or respond to the woman if she asks you where you are going. If you are alone, you are in the other world. To return to your world, enter the elevator and repeat the same sequence of floors 4, 2, 6, 2, 10, 5. Do not leave the elevator until you are certain you are home or else. Number 1. Midnight Game Gather all the players around just before midnight. They must write their full names on slips of paper, prick their fingers with a needle, and dab the paper slips with a drop of blood. Turn off the lights of the house and place the paper slips in front of a wooden door. Light a candle and place it on the paper, being careful that it won't fall. Knock on the door 22 times, being sure that the 22nd knock falls at exactly 12 a.m. Open the door, blow out the candle, and close the door. The players should move around the room holding their own candles. If a player's candle goes out, they must relight it in 10 seconds or surround themselves with a circle of salt. The game proceeds this way until it ends at 3.33 a.m. Not following these specific rules may lead to a spirit haunting the location and any players with unlit candles. Subscribe for more.